in the eerie shadows of a moonless night. A chilling silence blankens the earth. As you tune in to this spine-tingling audio series, you are transported into a realm where the boundaries between spirits and monsters blur, unleashing untold horrors upon the unexpecting world. The whispers of vengeful spirits intertwine with the gnarling growls of monstrous creatures. Their ghastly alliance awakened a primordial evil that hungers for human souls. With each haunting episode, you will be drawn deeper into the heart of this malevolent darkness. Where despite mortals struggle to survive while the line between friend and foe vanishes. Brace yourself, dear listener, for within these episodes, you will experience firsthand the dread and terror that arises when spirits and monsters join forces in a dance of pure, unadulterated horror. Quite a cold night out tonight. Indeed it is. And sh- just who would you be? I've been looking for you. Have you now? Yes, I have. The name's Jeff. Gato. My name is Gato. Yes, I already know who you are, Gato. And how is that? Hopefully none of my personal information has been leaked out somewhere. (laughs) No, no, no. Your identity is perfectly safe. I just had a few of my people... Go into your, uh, school file. Oh. Well, you know basic information about me, then. And you must know that I am wanted. Yes, I did see that. You're wanted for... Hmm, what was it? Killing a whole village? Was that it? With cursed spirits? Whatever that is. So you don't know? Hmm. You know nothing about jujitsu sorcery. That means you're just a mere monkey. Ah. I'd watch your mouth, Gato. You don't know what type of person I might be. He seems seems different. different. Let me hear him out. I don't wish to go into anything hostile. Just explain to me why you were looking for me. Well, isn't that obvious? I've read your file. I know almost everything about you. Including your little plan that you're planning to do. So you read about that, did you? Yes, my plans are true. I want to try to exterminate every non-sorcerer upon this planet. 
Why are you so curious about me? And to go through all this effort to try to find me? Answer me that. I am looking for a teacher. Someone who can show me the way of this weird little jujitsu thing that you've been oh so confident about within your skills. That you think you're going to <laughs> do a plan such as this? It'll take years upon years to do it without proper planning and proper help. Are you suggesting that I teach you? Mm. Well, I mean, that's the bigger picture in this, but no, not just me. I have a few other people who would like to be taught this thing that you're all so confident about. So you have a team? Mm. Accomplices. You see, I have the same sort of mindset as you, Gato. Explain. Well, I used to be one of the regular monkeys that you say that they are. I used to be just normal. Until I've realized that humans are the most untruthful and unforgiving and untrustworthy people. I've been crossed way too many times to be able to consider myself a human anymore. I despise even the thought of it. And that's why I want to kill the humans. I want to make them fear me. And yes, I have already done a little bit of that plan. I... Probably am guessing that you've seen this symbol around the town. Yes, I have. So this is your work, then. <laughs> you could say that. I don't do the crime myself. Well, I used to not doing the crime myself. But then I got double-crossed by one of the people that I... Had some trust in, and just like the wind, it blew away. I killed that person. I got my revenge, but I want more. I want to make sure that these humans know exactly what type of person I am. What type of monster? I know exactly what you're trying to do. And yes, your morals seem similar to mine, but mine are more complicated than yours. And I understand that you would like to have jujitsu sorcery upon your side while your plan is in the making. I can tell you it's a lot more easier to have it than to teach it. Yes, but... You would have us, a bunch of unhinged, magical people. Magical? Well, I myself, uh, I'm not really a magical person. You see, I am, uh, like you said, a monkey. But I want to transform myself into something more. I want to be a monster, like you said. I want to cause fear in the hearts of the humans and make them pay for what they've done to me. Sounds like you already have the mindset of a monster. Very well. Is that a yes? <coughs> Splendid! <laughs> Ah, oh, I'm so, so glad that you agreed to this. Like you said, I need more people on my side anyway when it comes down to my morals and goals. And also, you need the same thing. In exchange for helping you, 
become more stronger and to fight a great fight against those who have caused you harm and irritation, you will help me drive this planet into the golden age of Jujutsu. Sounds fair enough. I mean, if I'm going to be getting taught by such a powerful person, why not help them in their own endeavors as well? You have a deal, Ghetto. As do you with me, Jeff. <laughs> ah, this is going to be such a bloodbath. You have no idea. I'll try to keep out of the splash zones. <laughs> uh, you know, you're quite funny, Jeff. I think you and I are going to have quite a friendship around this. Oh, I think so, too. I think this friendship's going to go quite well in my eyes. Definitely. Especially if my team gets as strong as, uh, well, some of the other people that I've been snooping around and looking at. So I wasn't the first visit on your list? Hmm... Not quite, no, not really. I've been looking around, and also been sending my people around, because I've noticed there's been a little decrease in the amount of crime my people have been doing. So, I've set out lookout teams, and, well, they found out there's other jujutsu sorcerers that are getting rid of these people that I've hired. Kind of like, um... Exterminators. With cockroaches. Does that make sense to you? Yes, it does make sense to me. And I think I know who exactly are those exterminators to your cockroaches. Well then. Let's meet up with my team. I wouldn't want to learn everything before everyone else. You know, have a fair meeting of some sort. A fair chance for every participant to get in their own shrinks and power? Is that what you're trying to tell me? You have an answer for everything, don't you? <laughs> well, I am going to be teaching monkeys. So being the smarter one out of everyone, yes, I will have an answer for everything. You won't be calling us monkeys for much longer, Gato. Because once we're done getting trained, we will be out most. Something that you had never seen before. Monkeys becoming curses. Never would I thought to change that format. I never even thought of that format. You have a sick and twisted brain, Jeff. And I like that. Very well. Why don't you take me to your team? After all, there's much learning to do. Right, 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 right. You see, I would have to call them and set up a place to meet. I just wanted to lay down the idea to you at first so we could have a proper proper time getting everything set up. For your looks, I thought you'd be not very plan savvy, but it looks like you have everything in touch with you. Besides my looks, I'm a very smart man. People don't realize that about me. That I'm intelligent. More than they know. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Hmm? My, uh, subordinates, not really subordinates, they used to be my friends, you see, and, um, they also have a boss. Right. 
And what does their boss do? Do they teach them sorcery? Mm, not really. You see, there's a uh, mythical... The only way I can describe it is a monster. He calls himself the Slender Man, and he is a very powerful demon himself. So he's a cursed spirit? Kind of. I mean, both Hoodie and Maskey, the workers of the guy, they did a ritual to get his humanoid body back into the real world. I see. So he needs power as well? He's gotten some power as of recently, but he does need more. Fair enough. If he is just merely a spirit... Ah, ah, ah. Mm, no, he's not a spirit anymore. Are you even listening? I said he was a spirit. Now he has a physical form. Very well. Sorry for the confusion. This cocky brat. Does he not know who he's talking to? Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll just uh, bring you to them, and then we can get started. Very well. Please, lead the way. With pleasure. <laughs>